my little brushflies, welcome back to my channel Brushfly MUA. If you're new here, hi, my name is Mercedes. I'm the face behind Brushfly MUA. And if you are new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you're not new, hi, welcome back. So today's video is a challenge, and it's not just me taking part in a challenge, it's actually a group of us, my colleagues at work. We are taking part in a sort of group seven day challenge to raise money for diabetes one of the charities being diabetes uk and we are also trying to raise money for our local ward in our hospital so it's quite exciting there are many different challenges taking place over the next seven days although by the time you're watching this the challenges would have been done i'm just filming on the first day my part and then i'm hoping to add in some of what other people are doing as well so i'm doing a seven days of makeup challenge so every day for seven days i have to do a different color eyeshadow look which sounds quite easy i suppose but actually it's not it's summer holidays i need to take the kids out and i don't always do a playful eyeshadow look every single day like i might wear base makeup and a bit of mascara and go out with the kids but I don't wear really colourful makeup every day. That is sort of something I do when I go to work just because I'm that crazy person. So you know, that is definitely a challenge for me, but there are other challenges going on. Some people are doing running every day, sit-ups every day, push-ups every day, squats every day, walking a certain amount of steps every day. We've got one of us is cooking every day. Um, I mean, she cooks anyway. But you know, she's making cakes and yummy stuff. And then we have like someone else that's doing like oil paintings. And although he's not doing seven different oil paintings, he's doing so many of us work colleagues in that seven days. So it should be really interesting to see what everyone does. I can't remember what challenge everyone is doing, so I've probably missed out some really cool ones. But I'm hoping like my colleagues in the group of us will let me put some pictures in and show off what we're all doing. So it's very exciting. We are hoping to raise a nice bit of money. My shift leader, Michael, is absolutely crazy and he is the one that has decided to do this and has set this challenge for each of us to do. So yay, hi Michael, you're very crazy. But you know, I think it's actually a really good way to try and get everyone included and trying to do something. So yeah, I suppose I better dive in and do what I'm meant to do today. So I've chosen a different colour for every day and I've chosen different eyeshadow palettes for every day. Obviously this is a makeup YouTube channel that I run so I'm not doing fitness. I can't do fitness. I've got endometriosis and I tried to do like fitness leading up to this challenge to see if I could do that and it near on killed me. It really really hurt so I'm going to stick with the makeup, but everyone else that's doing fitness and all the other stuff, good luck because you're all amazing. So, makeup. So I have decided for the first day, I'm going to go in with purple. So I have a Revolution or I Heart Revolution mini chocolate palette in Violet Crush. So this has some stunning purple shades. I've not used it before, so it'd be interesting to use it today. And I have a selection of palettes with different colours that I'm going to do for the rest of the week. But I will show you those in a little while. So I think I need to prime my eyes and dive straight into doing the purple. Okay, so I've brushed my friend out of the way. You can see my hideous brows. If you've been to my channel before, you know that I don't like doing eyebrows. And that's why I have a fringe, because I can hide them. <laughs> but I have just primed my eyelids using my Revolution Concealer from the calendar. I use it all the time. I'm trying to use it all up this year. And actually I'm starting to see through it so I know I won't be using this for long. So, purple. Day one is purple. I think I need to swatch this palette, have a look and see which shades I want to play with. They all look really nice. I do have my eye on these two shades up here and this one. But I want to swatch them and make sure they're definitely the shades I want to work with. So I'll quickly do that. Okay, so this is the palette swatched. I do have to say some of the matte shades do not swatch very well, but that doesn't mean they won't work well on the lid. The metallic-y shades, really, really nice. 
So yeah, looking forward to playing with these. I've definitely got my eye on the colours that I said I had my eye on. So I think I'm definitely going to try and create a look using these and incorporate some of the metallic shapes. Okay, so I think I'm going to go in with the darkest purple shade first, see what that creates. I'm pretty sure I got fluff on my face somewhere, but I can't work out where the fluff is. And it's really, really annoying. Okay, so I found the offending fluff. It's now gone. So yeah, I'm going to go in with the darkest shade. Ooh, pretty. So we might as well talk a little bit about diabetes. So there is actually a reason like most of us want to take part in this challenge because we all pretty much know someone who's got diabetes. Like my granddad has it. Um, I'm not actually sure what type he's got, but I know he has to do the injection before food. Um, he's very, very poorly. He's very wobbly. Can't stand up for very long. He's like my nan has to look after him. He's pretty much disabled now, which is such a shame because he was always such a workaholic and was always out doing stuff. And now he's just not. Um, so I think it's a great sort of charity to raise money for because. Diabetes is, it's like a very common thing, but not really spoken about, I don't think. Like, I don't really understand it, and I've got a family member who has it. So, I think it's good to sort of discuss these things and talk about them. And, like, if you raise money for these charities as well, like, at least they can help people that have it. So, yeah, I mean... I always thought diabetes was just like, oh yeah, you can't deal with sugar very well. It's not, there's so much more than that, like, a lot of diabetic people, they can get problems with their feet, like, they can't always feel something, so, say if my granddad was to tread on a nail, he wouldn't know. And it could get infected and he still wouldn't know, and he could lose a toe, or the foot, or, you know, diabetes has a lot of complications with it that we just don't really understand. But what I love about um, working with Tesco's and like my little team is every few months we are always like raising money for some sort of charity. They're a very sort of charitable like work team. It's, it's really nice. Like last year um, they did a fundraising walk for epilepsy, which was so sweet because my daughter has epilepsy and it was so nice to see everyone get together especially when lockdown was lifted and we could finally do like little things together so we did the walk and we managed to raise a lot which really really helped people in the community that have epilepsy that couldn't maybe afford a sleep safe pillow or a monitor in their bed to like monitor when they have seizures and stuff like we have that for my daughter but we had to pay for that and there's families that are not in the position that they can pay for stuff so it's nice that you know we as a team and Tesco as a company do donate to charities and you know it's, it's just it's nice it makes you feel like you're giving back as well so yeah I'm glad it's diabetes this time I mean we've done like well I haven't personally because I work the unsociable shifts I'm the Friday Saturday night person so quite often these sort of fundraising events are on a Friday or a Saturday and I don't always get to take part but I always try to donate something and like we've done stuff for like Embrace and other sort of charities so it's a great way to you know just help others and I have gone very very purple okay so that is actually really really pigmented I have gone a bit messy on the inner corner but I can always tidy that up afterwards so I think I might go in with this shimmer shade just on my brow bone area and I wore purple today as well to like match whatever I do with my eyeshadow <laughs> I thought I'd try.
look looks really crazy at the minute but like I always like to say is trust in the process and hopefully it'll all work out and I won't look like a crazy hot mess. I'm just going to grab some concealer. I have my Revolution Conceal and Hydrate concealer. I'm just going to go on the inner section of the eye. Okay, so next up I think I'm going to go in with this shade. Okay, I'm now going to go in with this shimmery jade. I'm just going to use my finger at first to see if it'll apply that way. If not, I'll dampen it down with a brush. And I'm just going to take some of the colour I put on the brow bone just to, for inner corner highlight. And then I'm going to go back in with this shade and go under my lash line. Okay, so this is the purple eye look. I'm going to quickly add on some mascara. Michael has asked me to do like an extra challenge at some point during the week where I add lashes because I hate applying false lashes but today is not the day <laughs> but I will do that during the week and I will add that into this video so you can see I did add false lashes but today I'm gonna go with a nice simple mascara maybe a bit of eyeliner and I'll be right back okay so this is the finished eye look for day one I've gone with purple obviously and I have to say, the I Heart Revolution Violet Crush Palette, really, really good. I mean, I have to say, I love their chocolate palettes anyway. Their formula is always really, really good. They always have like such a nice way about them. The mattes performed really well. They were buildable, they were blendable, really, really good. The metallics, stunning. Didn't need to dampen them down, could just use my finger. And they work really well with a nice liner and just simple mascara lash look. So yeah, really happy I decided to choose this one for day one of my challenge. I wonder what colours I'll be doing for the rest of the week. So I have actually already chosen my eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to quickly show you them now. So I have my selection of eyeshadow palettes that I think will create the best colourful looks throughout this whole week plus it means I'm bringing out eyeshadow palettes that I haven't used for a while into my routine for a little while so I can try them, get to know them again and see whether I still like them so I don't know what order I'm going to do the colours during the week but I will do like a thing where I'll do like day one, purple, day two, green, day three, whatever so you can see what I've done during the week. So for green, I'm definitely going to be using my e.l.f. Mint Melt Mint to Be palette. I love this. This is such a cute little palette. And for £4, you can't go wrong. But the greens in this are absolutely stunning. So that is going to be for my green day. If I decide to do a red day or an orange day, depending on how I feel, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions palette. I've had this in my collection for some time but I always forget to pull it out. I just, I forget that I have it. I think because it's not really shades that I wear very often but I need to give it a go. I've got other Huda Beauty things in my collection that I need to test out and maybe do it as an all-in-one sort of video. Maybe I'll get there one day but yeah, gonna be using this one this week. 
Then I have my Colourpop Time Sailor Moon palette. I have decided to use this one for the day I want to do yellow because the yellow in this is very very vibrant and there is a nice sort of shimmery gold above it that I can use to pair with it so I think that will create a really nice yellow look. Hopefully it will bring out the sunshine because today it is raining and I feel so sorry for the people that are going out running for this challenge because it's horrible out there but yeah I'm going to be using Colourpop and Sailor Moon for yellow. For pink, I'm going to be using my Kylie Cosmetics Times Balmain. So in here it has a really cute pastel pink and shimmery pink. I love this palette, it's one of my favourites in my collection. I really love using it for pastel looks. So I'm going to be bringing this one out. I do want to do some videos where I bring out my old Kylie Cosmetics products, give them another go because obviously she has revamped her brand as of late so I don't know whether any of the old stuff will be coming back but it'll just be nice to sort of have a look through them, play with them, see what I still think about them. For blue I'm gonna go with the Revolution and Soph Super Spice palette. I really like the blue shade that's in here, I quite like pairing it with the white and just giving it like a sea foam kind of effect and then I'll probably pair it with the shimmer shade. A really nice simple look to do but it looks really vibrant on the eye so I'm definitely going to be using that one. And then I've decided to do like a brown eye shadow look. So I'm going to go with my Tatty Beauty Textured Neutrals Volume 1. I very rarely use the browns in here. Obviously you can see I've used the other colours because they're all a mess. And I think the brown one I really need to try and play with a bit more and get to know so I'm going to be doing like a brown smoky eye with this palette during the week which I'm really looking forward to. So those are the other palettes that you're going to be seeing throughout this video. It is going to be quite a long video, I will try to cut it down into a more manageable size but I want to put it all in one video so it's not all over the place and it's not all higgledy piggledy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop the video here but show you what I have done for the rest of the week, like the eye looks, and show you if any of my other colleagues want to add in pictures. I'll show you what they've been up to during the week so you can sort of see what we've all been getting up to for our challenge.
Hi guys, so just a quick makeup y update. It is the sixth day, I have one day left, and it's Friday the 13th. And I decided to do my lash challenge. So my supervisor Michael asked me what I really struggle with with makeup, and it is false lashes. And I have to say, they've gone on, but not great. So this eye is actually fine, doesn't look too bad, but this eye bugger wouldn't go on um, and when it did it sort of it's moved up so I've had to get like a bit of eyeliner and sort of fill in like on this eye the band looks fine it's sitting nicely but on this eye the band is not sitting fine so I've had to sort of fill it in with eyeliner and then the eyeliner went up here oh my god I don't do lashes but I do have to say I tried these ones the eyelore texture number 117 and these are pre-glued so I didn't have to put the glue on and that is one thing that I really struggle with I put the glue on I wait the 30 seconds I blow it I wiggle it I cut it down to size try and put it on cannot stick it on I can stick my makeup brush to my face but I cannot stick the eyelashes on so these ones were pre-glued so you literally just take them out the packet and put them straight on so far they seem okay they've only been on about 10-15 minutes I don't know about the lasting power, they they feel okay, but I don't know if they will last all day, I don't know whether when I get to work tonight I will end up getting annoyed and ripping them off. If I do and you happen to be in work and you see some weirdo with weird looking lashes because I've ripped half of them off, you know why. Um, but yeah, it, it'll do, I tried, that's all I can do, but yeah, this eye, really annoying me. This eye I like, so just, just look at that eye, don't look at that eye, just look at this eye, don't look at that eye. So it's all good, but um, uh, yeah, thanks Michael for the stress, and why did I choose to do it on Friday the 13th? Of course it was Friday the 13th, so I hope you enjoy. This is my blue day, tomorrow is the last day, I think I'm going to go with the brown look tomorrow, that's the one look I haven't done yet, so fingers crossed it all goes well. And just so you know, if you ever want to donate, I'm pretty sure this will be up for like, like the donating thing will be open for at least another week while we collect everything in. So when this video goes up, you'll probably have a few days to donate if you really want to. I will leave all those links down below. So if you want to, you can, but don't feel you have to, but it'll be there if you want to. But yeah, hope you like this eye look. I'm going to go because we're meant to be going to see my nan and I'm already like 15 minutes late. But yeah. Have fun and uh, look out for my next look. See you later.
day three done. I hate you, Michael, so much. You're lucky you're off this week. Good luck, everyone else. I'm back. You would have just seen what we've been up to for the whole week. I hope you enjoyed the eye looks that I created for this challenge and I hope you enjoyed seeing what everyone else has been up to. Um, I've really enjoyed it. It's day one and I'm telling you I've really enjoyed it. I've enjoyed playing with my makeup today and obviously I love playing with my makeup and pushing myself and seeing what I can do so I know I would have enjoyed this challenge. I am going to be doing another video where I will update you on how much we managed to raise because I think that would be a good idea so you can all see but also if you do want to donate to our cause for diabetes I will leave a link down below which should take you to the GoFundMe page, I think it's a GoFundMe page, um, that one of my colleagues has set up. Also if you're one of my friends or family and you want to donate I do have a sponsorship form I will give it a few days before I hand it in so you know by the time this video goes out yes we would have done the challenge but we'll give it a few days so if anyone else wants to donate please do and if not if this inspires you to do a challenge for a charity then let me know down below I would love to see what you guys will get up to and what you love doing for charity because you know charity is such a an important thing a lot of charities don't get any help or support from the government so you know these things they all help and they help other people like us in the community that maybe don't have help and support anywhere else so I think it's such a good cause and um, I just want to say a quick well done to everyone at my Tesco store for doing what you've done this week I know it's probably been hard because Judging by the weather today, the weather has been absolutely awful today, but I have already seen on an update that a few of them have been out and done their first day of running, so you know, I applaud you to that. At least I'm inside, like, but you know, I, I do feel really sorry for you in this weather. But yeah, I just want to say well done to everyone on whatever you've done. You're all amazing. I think it's great. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and yeah, this is my week in colour challenge Tesco edition <laughs> for diabetes so yeah I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments below and who knows maybe in the future I will do another colour challenge for another good cause you know you never know so yeah I will see you all in my next video take care and if I've missed anything out because I feel like I have but if I haven't then you know this is the end but if I've missed anything out, I'm pretty sure Editing Mercy will jump in and let you know. So yeah, take care. See you all soon. Bye.